Hi folks, good afternoon, or good evening, whichever your case may be. Uh, my name is uh, Professor Michael Walsh, and I will be your instructor uh, for Digital Film Lighting 1. This is the first installment uh, of two courses, Digital Film Lighting 1 and 2 as a part of your technical curriculum uh, at digital uh, at Los Angeles Film School. Uh, this is go to training session number one for week one of DFM 200. Uh, and I wanted to say welcome, good afternoon, and give you a rundown of the uh, events and uh, projects, assignments uh, that you can look forward to uh, in week one. And uh, with subsequent go-tos, we will discuss an overview for weeks two, three, and four uh, in other go-to training sessions. Um, go-to training sessions are not mandatory, but if you have the um, room in your schedule, uh, or if you have the curiosity or the wherewithal to join a, uh, a conversation on related topics to your digital film lighting experience, this is a great way uh, for us to get some personal time. Um, I know it's hard sometimes in an online curriculum to develop a sense of one-on-one uh, -on -one relationship with your instructor, but nevertheless, here I am. Uh, we'll meet once a week. Uh, around this same time uh, to discuss what's on your mind. If you have questions about assignments or if you have questions about concepts, relative concepts, uh, questions on personal work uh, as it relates to film lighting, uh, or questions in filmmaking in general uh, relative to film lighting and uh, very quite often uh, relative to other topics uh, as well. So here we are. I just wanted to... Uh, <clears throat> show my face, as it were, <laughs> and also show you really quickly the go-to schedule for this month. Now, I also teach Digital Film Lighting 2 concurrently uh, with this course, uh, as well as uh, Digital Cinematography 2. Um, and this is, uh, for the month of October, uh, my go-to training schedule. As you can see, uh, this is this evening. Um, unfortunately, uh, being the first Tuesday of the month, uh, and folks are just cracking open the, uh, the LMS to see what's in store for them. Uh, there's often a fairly low turnout on the first Tuesday. That's why I record these sessions. Uh, so you can join me later at your leisure and, uh, benefit from the information that's been passed on in this go-to training session. So we're going to have, uh, four sessions this month. And as you see, uh, here's week one, uh, week two is coming in on October 10th, week three on October 17th, and week four on October 24th. Um, pay no attention to these, uh, these are Greenwich Mean Times. Um, the number of registrants for each course, I can see that uh, courses are starting to fill up already, a little bit of a trickle, but that's okay. Um, you can register for these courses on the LMS, go to the uh, I'm sure you, you may know this because you're you're here this evening. <laughs> Go to your GoTo training section in the Getting Started uh, portion of the LMS, and if I move my control board out of the way, there will be a little uh, prompt here as you hover over this spot uh, that'll ask you if you want to register, and then of course register for the course, and then uh, tune in at the assigned time. So, like I said, this is week one. I thought what I would do was just give you a, an overview, uh, essentially, of what's going on this week. Uh, we always start um, the lighting uh, technical classes with a, a brief overview of practical electrical concepts. Um, in Lighting 1, we don't get too heavily into um, the broader aspects and applicability of electricity on set. Um, because most of the lights you guys will be using 
uh, particularly the ones from your kit uh, run on household power so there's no need to discuss uh, heavy-duty motion picture systems like you might encounter out in the field uh, after your college experience. What we want to give you uh, um, a practical acquaintance with is the house power aspects of electricity relevant to 120 volts which is native line voltage in the United States uh, and 60 cycles uh, which is native uh, frequency in the United States uh, for our current carrying wires. Uh, we start off with a read-in view that has some pretty interesting uh, stuff lined up for you. Um, I'm also a published uh, writer. I publish uh, articles um, primarily for uh, industry magazines like Video Maker. Um, this particular article was written for Microfilmmaker magazine. It's, uh, it's a study of uh, lighting on a primary, one of the most basic uh, subjects we could think of, which is the, uh, the egg and how to approach uh, techniques, uh, light, uh, a subject like an egg uh, with lighting techniques that will render effectively um, an inviting and flattering image of a huevo. So we have this article, remember the egg. We have uh, a chapter from your uh, lighting text, uh, Lighting for Digital Video and Television, third edition by John Jackman, and you can access that uh, in your uh, Safari uh, Support Center, uh, where you can create a queue of all of the textbooks that you'll be responsible for this month. And uh, you can also create a queue of other uh, texts that you find interesting and want to read at a later date. Uh, and then just pull those up uh, at will when you want to access the information. Or uh, oftentimes in our reading views, we will have uh, direct links. For instance, if you roll over this, uh, this um, blue um, link right here, it'll take you directly to the chapter in that textbook on volts, amps, and watts, which is the... Uh, three electrical concepts that we want to look at uh, in week one. Uh, we also have uh, some other interesting uh, articles for you to read on key light placement for portraits and a little behind the scenes uh, article uh, that you can check out um, uh, from a DP who works in the industry working uh, on a uh, TV series uh, in Los, I think it's in Los Angeles. Um, and some of his techniques for uh, ambient lighting, lighting in dark interiors, and lighting in period pieces um, like medieval England. We also have some videos for you to check out. I did this lecture on classic art and lighting aesthetics. This is a, a pretty good in, uh, introduction to the concept of shape, texture, and color. Uh, relevant to uh, classic paintings by the masters uh, like Rembrandt, Vermeer, Caravaggio, uh, and so on. Uh, folks like that who have shaped our aesthetic over the centuries um, with their dedication to craft, uh, photorealism, um, and the flattering or um, narrative uh, application of lighting concepts on their subjects in in an age before electronic technology, uh, in an age before cameras. So it's a pretty interesting look at some classical art references and discussions on shape and uh, key light placement. Um, in each of the uh, sections, you'll see that there are areas for you to either watch video material, access links like we have here, or download material like assignment sheets assignment instructions, assignment worksheets, and so forth. Um, we also have uh, discussion posts where you're going to take a look at a concept, download the instructions on how to, uh, how to uh, demonstrate the assignment and how to turn it in. Um, the discussion for week one uh, involves watching uh, a movie trailer and you can pick the movie yourself. It could be your favorite movie or a movie you find interesting or a movie that you think uh, is applicable to the lighting class. And uh, we're going to have you do a screen grab uh, of one of the more notable shots in the trailer and have you discuss, uh, to the best of your ability, uh, how uh, you think the lighting was done 
and use as many descriptors as you can to see if you can intuitively uh, sort of figure out how the work was done. Now, understandably, it's week one of your first lighting class, so you're not going to have a lot of technical specifics that you can uh, reference from prior training. Uh, or maybe you've you've begin you've began to dabble in this uh, uh, this craft already, and you have a little bit of prior knowledge. That's terrific. Um, it's not about um, impressing me with what you know at this point. It's more about seeing um, how your eye reacts to subjects that have been um, deliberately lit, as opposed to subjects that are simply um, happening in uh, ambient environments, um, and see if you can understand uh, the concept of lighting geography and uh, three-dimensionality in a two-dimensional medium. So this is an interesting discussion. You can't be wrong, so don't be afraid to make assertions. Uh, we will definitely discuss them amongst the class members. Uh, I will also uh, discuss and uh, reflect and comment on each of your posts as well. Uh, and this is one of the ways that we're going to start forming opinions uh, and preferences about cinematic lighting. Um, each week the the format will be basically the same. Uh, we'll do some read and view, we'll do some discussion posts online, you'll have uh, an open book quiz that you can take uh, based on the reading uh, and any of the video tutorials that you've been asked to watch. Uh, and you'll have a project. Uh, project 1.3 uh, is distribution and shooting on location. Uh, let's see if I've pulled it up here. I think I have. Yeah, project 1.3 um, is basically uh, a project. Here, I'll move my control panel out of the way. It's a project based on your reading on amps, volts, and watts. Um, there's a there's a quick viewing uh, tutorial that you can check out, about nine minutes long, uh, on Ohm's Law Simplified. It's basically what we call the power formula. And um, it's going to ask you to locate your, uh, your breaker box in your house. Uh, and it's going to ask you um, some questions about um, the layout of your electrical plan, uh, presumably in your house. Um, and, and that is presumably where you're going to do the, the majority of your projects. However, uh, if you have a different location where you will be shooting your homework assignments, then you might want to do this uh, distribution overview uh, for that location because basically you're going to be identifying your electrical outlets, tracing them back to the breaker box, figuring out which safety breakers regulate the circuits that you'll be using and in what rooms, uh, and what the values of those breakers are, what the circuit protection is uh, based on the hardware in your breaker panel box and based on the readings that you'll do in week one. So we've got uh, a pretty decent workload for you lined up for this week. Here are your downloads for your project. Access them here. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, in week two, we'll start really sinking our teeth into um, practical lighting concepts. We're going to start by giving you uh, some three-point lighting read and view tutorials um, to start checking out and start understanding what that process is, what it looks like, what's expected of it, um, what you can expect from uh, from a lighting uh, method like three-point lighting, how to create three-dimensionality in a two-dimensional medium like film. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I've spent many years uh, on set working in Hollywood. Um, I've performed a variety of jobs. Uh, when I was very young, I was in the camera department. Um, and then I moved um, fairly quickly after about five years into the grip department, which is kind of the the uh, left hand of the lighting department, which is the right hand of the director of photography, uh, and rose up through the ranks of the lighting department to, uh, to a gaffer or chief lighting technician, and then ultimately as a shooter myself. So my most profound experience and my most passionate um, subject matter is, of course, lighting and how lighting can tell a story verbally and non-verbally. Uh, when you have a good script, you have uh, some good camera work and some some nice luxurious lighting to go along with it uh, it's been my passion for almost 30 years 
and I am eager and uh, happy to pass some of that knowledge on to you. I hope you folks are into lighting like I am. Uh, if not, check it out anyway. Um, there's no bad knowledge or information, and it'll help you down the road uh, with whatever craft you're actually um, passionately concerned with uh, from your own point of view. So let me uh, redo some of this stuff. And thank you very much for attending this class. Thanks for giving me your attention uh, for go to session number one for week one of digital film lighting. Uh, I look forward to working with you in the future. Uh, feel free to reach out to me if you have questions about homework assignments, reading assignments, uh, project particulars, um, or if you just have questions about how to proceed. Um, I can help you uh, get those uh, questions answered, help you arrive at solutions that will uh, benefit you. Um, and I can just uh, impart some of my experience to you. Uh, it would be my honor and privilege. So I think that's it. I think that's uh, the bulk of what I wanted to say this evening. Um, hopefully I'll see more of you next week for go-to training uh, number two for week two. Until then, uh, like I said, reach out through the LMS, uh, through email, call my office phone. If I don't answer, I will call you back. And uh, let's have fun with this, folks. Um, lighting uh, has been a very rewarding uh, aspect of my career. And uh, I think you'll enjoy it, too. And I think that uh, once you learn some of the simple secrets to effective lighting, uh, I think you'll be pleased to see how it can um, accentuate uh, and emphasize your own work. Um, and I think you'll derive a great deal of satisfaction from uh, having the ability to generate uh, provocative uh, images of your own. So that's it. Have a good evening, and I will talk to you again soon. Thanks for tuning in.